Hi everyone, Shai here. I hope all of you are doing good. Welcome to another new video. El Chapo, whose actual name is Joaquin Archivaldo Guzman Loera, resembles Voldemort from Harry Potter in the sense that he is a former Mexican drug lord you wouldn't want to cross paths with. El Chapo was once acknowledged as one of the most influential drug traffickers globally, and once you delve into his life story, you'll find it hard to doubt. From his astonishing wealth to his role as the leader of the Sinaloa cartel, here are some mind-boggling facts about El Chapo that might surprise you. Number 1. He was a cartel leader. We all know El Chapo was a lord, but did you know he was the former leader of the Kaloa cartel, also known as CDs and the Pacific Cartel? It was a massive international crime syndicate focused on money laundering and illegal trafficking. In recent years, it has been called the second most dominant cartel in Mexico. The Kaloa cartel came to exist in the late 1980s, founded by four people, one of which was El Chapo. After he went to prison, two of El Chapo's sons and one of the original founders, Ismael Zambara Garcia, were put in charge. The cartel is based in Cacan, Caloa but operates worldwide. Alongside being in Mexico, it's also in various Latin American regions and some United States cities. There are plenty of cartels around the world, but the power of the Caloa cartel is something you wouldn't believe. In a matter of years, this cartel had eliminated all competition in a 328-mile range across the Arizona border. It also didn't take long until four different cartels just became branches of the Caloa cartel. Number 2. Cartel conflict on his watch was an action-packed time for cartel members. When Felix Gallardo was arrested for taking out a D-agent, he handed over the Tijuana Corridor to the Arellano Felix brothers, one known as El Choi and another known as El Dor. El Dor was the cousin of the former Guadalajara cartel leader. El Dor feared a coup, so he fled to Canada, where he was arrested. El Chapo and other Caloa cartel leaders were furious at the Arellano Felix clan, so El Chapo sent his trusted man, Elio, to speak with them in Tijuana. But Ramon Arellano Felix killed him before Elio could have the face-to-face -face meeting. The Tijuana cartel then ordered a hit on the rest of the Lopez family members. Violence ensued. The Arellano Felix brothers sent Venezuelan trafficker Andre Rapael Clav Morna to infiltrate the family of Lord Hector Palma, known as El Guro, and seduce his wife. With that box ticked, he convinced El Guro's wife to withdraw $7 million from one of his bank accounts. Enrique then beheaded her and sent her head to El Guro in a box, and honestly, it just got worse from that point on. A whole war broke out between both groups that lasted for at least six months. Number 3. El Chapo's first arrest. After decades of getting up to all sorts of no good, you'd think El Chapo would have been arrested long before he was. However, it wasn't until 1993 that he finally ended up in cuffs, and it was all because of the rivalry between the Arellano Felix family in Tijuana and the Sinaloan cartel led by El Chapo. It's believed that men were recruited from a street gang hired by the Arellano Felix family to take out El Chapo when he knew he'd be inside the Guadalajara airport. The assassins saw a car they thought was his and opened fire. Turns out it wasn't his car, and he wasn't inside. Instead, Cardinal Juan Jesus Posada Su, dressed in his clerical garb, was inside with his driver. The Cardinal was struck by 14 bullets at close range, and his driver was hit 11 times. El Chapo quickly made an exit in a car nearby and was entirely unscathed from this case of mistaken identity. Mexico issued a huge 15 million peso reward for the Arellano Felix family's capture, as well as El Chapo and El Agro. He and five others were detained near the Mexican border, and he was handed over to Mexican authorities. He denied ever using and said he farmed corn and beans. We all know that's not true. Number 4. El Chapo's first escape. It's hilarious that we talk about El Chapo's first escape. You would think that after he escaped once, the authorities would take extra care to make sure he didn't escape again. But here we are. Now, to be fair, it wasn't the most daring escape. He simply used his wealth to get what he wanted. He was in prison in Mexico when he was indicted to San Diego to face charges of import and money laundering. Before this happened, El Chapo bribed the guards to help him escape. In 2001, a prison guard opened El Chapo's electronic cell door. El Chapo simply got into a laundry cart, and maintenance worker Javier Ciros wheeled him out. Once he was out the front door, Javier transported him in the trunk of a car out of town. Javier stopped at a gas station and went into the store. Upon coming out, El Chapo was gone. At least 78 people are believed to have been involved in his escape. Even the facility's director was believed to be involved. But it wasn't just prison employees on El Chapo's payroll. He also had the police in his pocket. 
He allegedly paid off police in Jalisco to give him 24 hours to get out of the state so he could stay ahead of the search. Some reports say escaping from prison cost El Chapo about $12 million. Number 5. His second arrest. El Chapo might have spent $12 million escaping from prison the first time but he didn't remain a free man forever. While he had managed to stay hidden in the most remote parts of the Sierra Matter Mountains, members of his security team who had been arrested told the authorities that he had started making his way to Kakan and Mazatlan. Some reports say that he had also attended a family reunion in Kaloa, you know, because that's what you do when you're a wanted man, apparently. Mexican military members followed the security team's tips and ended up at El Chapo's former wife's house. The steel reinforced door proved challenging to ram, so the delay allowed El Chapo to escape through secret tunnels. These tunnels were connected to six houses. It seemed like he had escaped once more, but on February 22, 2014, about a week after he had to leave in a hurry, Mexican authorities arrested El Chapo at a hotel in Mazatlan. He was hiding in one of the condos and was found lying in bed with his wife, Mai. Sputo. Their two daughters were also in the condo when he was arrested. Number 6. El Chapo escaped twice. El Chapo's first escape from prison was daring enough, but can you believe this drug lord achieved this feat twice? In 2015, he managed to escape from a maximum security prison, the Altiplano Federal Prison. Not so maximum security, then, is it? It's believed that he escaped through a hole he dug under his cell that led to a tunnel. A manhunt was launched immediately after the guards discovered he was missing during a routine check. When they found his cell empty, they discovered a 20 in X20 in hole near the shower. According to the Mexico National Security Commission, if El Chapo can return to the mountainous areas he knows well, he might never be captured again. The tunnel El Chapo escaped through contained PVC pipes for ventilation, lighting, a track-mounted motorbike, and tools and machinery for drilling. After El Chapo escaped, prison workers were detained, and 18 workers were interrogated. He had only been there for 18 months since he was found after his first escape, so this was embarrassing, to say the least. According to the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration's former head of global operations, Mike Vigil, he doesn't think they took into account how cunning El Chapo is or how his resources are unlimited. It later came out that U.S. authorities knew of his escape plans a mere month after he was arrested for the second time. Number 7. Sean Penn interviewed El Chapo It's not very often that you get to interview one of the most wanted men in the world. You get to interview them even less often while they are still on the run from the authorities. But American actor, film director, and, I guess you could say journalist Sean Penn had that very opportunity. That's right, Sean was taken to the very place El Chapo was hiding and got to talk to him for seven long hours. El Chapo was hiding in the hills of western Mexico, where Sean learned about his business, life story and how he had hired European engineers to help him escape prison again. El Chapo also said that he supplied more than anyone else and had a fleet of submarines, planes, trucks, and boats. It's believed that Sean had managed to contact El Chapo through Mexican actor Kate Del Castillo. Kate accompanied Sean on his trip to the interview so she could be his translator. El Chapo's lawyer was also present. As you might have expected, it was this interview published in Rolling Stone magazine that, in a way, led to El Chapo's recapture. The Mexican government had been following El Chapo's lawyer, so they simply had to follow his lawyer, who met up with Sean and Kate, who then showed them where the meeting was happening. So, that was all for today. I hope you have watched the video up to this time stamp. Make sure to press the like button if it amazed you. Press the subscribe button if you still haven't subscribed to the channel, as it's totally free. You can follow me on all social media platforms. All links are given in the description. You can also watch other cool stuff. The playlist link is also mentioned in the description. I will catch you up soon in the next video. Till then, peace out.